movie that will beat all movies. And the second phase has started, which means that the movie is half over. So all you fans out there, of course you're waiting for Talaiwa to be back, and he is back. And very soon we'll get a film for him, the time of clap. And a star cast, of course, is big. It includes Rukmini, Vijay Kumar, Sarat, Prithiraj, Jackie Shroff, and Deepika Padukone. And it can't get bigger than this. So let's say together, super, super, super star Rajnikanth is back. Kalaibar is back and with six packs this time. Yes, what you see on your screen is Rajnikanth's latest avatar with bulging biceps, toned abs, the works. So if the South Indian movie icon is looking like a Greek god, in his latest film, Coach Adyan, it's not thanks to any gym instructor. It is the work of his daughter Sondarya, the director of the film and special effects wizardry, a la Adventures of Tintin and Avatar. Uh, we are making sure that we give my dad uh, a, a new look and like you can see in this poster, I think you'll see more in the film, I've given him six packs and all like his biceps and uh, all of those things. So uh, it's exciting to look and um, develop and enhance and he, uh, he's, he, he's got very nice sharp features. So you know when you give him the beard and or you remove the beard, you can do so much with it. Rajni's latest is being shot in motion capture made famous by the likes of James Cameron and Steven Spielberg. They're, they're expecting something to new to do. I'm getting older. <laughs> so, but the best actually, what new I'm thinking, and uh, luckily, this Kochadia, I am really happy. It is something new at the same time. Definitely, would, uh, I'm disappointed to my fans around the world. Rajnikanth has confessed that making this movie was not like any other. It took time to get used to being directed by his daughter. And I am really proud and uh, shocked to see my daughter directing me. And first, actually, I felt uh, I was uh, uncomfortable. Really, I was uncomfortable in the beginning. Later, uh, I forgot that she's my uh, daughter. <laughs> I could see only the director. Amazing experience uh, working under my dad and then shooting him. So, uh, very excited about how work has shaped out. Another thing going for the film is that the soundtrack has been scored by the Mozart of the East, A.R. Rahman, and Rajni lending his voice to one of the songs is the cherry on the cake. Uh, so this is entirely everything new for me, even uh, singing or saying some words or whatever in the song, and even in acting also. And since it's an animated movie, it, it'll bring so much of personality and um, you know depth with his voice. It's so. What we tried to do was make a song and then in that he comes in and does, you know, uh, generously giving so many quotes which are beautiful written, written by Vairamuthu and Ishad Kamal. Throw in the glamorous Deepika Padukone being romanced by Rajni and the fact that the movie is being dubbed in several languages. Fans are in for a huge treat. Rajni admits working within the world of 3D and motion capture made this the most demanding movie he's worked in. Entirely difficult about the regular feature film and this one it is not easy at all. It was not easy at all. Improvise, you have to improvise and visualize and uh, imagine and getting into that character without putting makeup or dress or costume. That is the the first very difficult. And imagine the location. That is really tough job, yes. But now, okay, that is good. So the schedule in London is over, and it's time for Thalaiwa's fans in Chennai to witness the making of an epic as the second part of the shooting schedule begins. From a bus conductor, Rajnikanth has now become a phenomenon, a man who will live beyond his movies. He could be pushing 60, but Rajni's charisma is unlikely to fade. With camera person Daniel Priyambada in Chennai for headlines today.